Good morning, uh, my fellow Washingtonians. Today I'm announcing a two-week pause on our uh, phased reopening plan. This means all counties for the next two weeks will stay in the current phase that they're in uh, this morning. Uh, at the end of the two-week pause, we will evaluate uh, the metrics at that time, the number of cases per 100,000, the hospitalizations. So this is not a change to the phase plan, but we are pausing it for two weeks as we continue to evaluate the changing conditions in the state of Washington. Uh, this uh, decision is based on the information that we've been able to analyze just in the last few days as that has come in on a daily basis. And we're responding to what we've learned with that most recent information, as we always have. And I think our flexibility throughout this pandemic has, one of the, has been one of the reasons we've had uh, a great deal of success, that uh, as this virus has thrown us curves, we have responded. It's also worked uh, because of the tremendous compliance we've had with our uh, requirements for uh, masking and social distancing, and a great credit to this goes to the state uh, Washington citizens. Uh, before I talk some more about that, just a word on our vaccination. Today, more than 54% of the eligible Washingtonians have received their first dose of the vaccine, and 38% are now fully vaccinated. Obviously, we want that effort to continue because we have a long ways to go to get to a much safer position in the state of Washington. Uh, I have decided on this two-week pause in consultation with our State Department of Health and experts because we are in a constantly evolving situation and unlike any other time during the pandemic. We look at the most recent information uh, literally on a daily basis to make these decisions. For the past several weeks, epidemiologists have observed a, a fourth wave developing of COVID as I talked about last week. But the most recent data that has come in just in the last few days, including what DOH has observed over the weekend, shows a, a potential plateauing of the COVID activity in the state of Washington, which obviously is good news. I'd like to show you the uh, epi curve. Uh, first off, uh, I'm gonna show you the one that I hope that you can turn your computer so I can see which one is up, please. Okay, this shows the, uh, the rate of cases going back to November as we see the two spikes in December and January. The curve then came down. It started to go up with this fourth surge, which you'll notice just to now switch to the next to show a, a blow up of the last two weeks. You'll see that uh, uh, towards the last a week or two, we've had essentially a plateauing, particularly in the last several days. On the right side of the curve, it's, it's essentially flat. Maybe if you're a total optimist, even a potential little decline. I wouldn't go so far to say that, but at least a plateauing. So we have seen some continued changes, and as the pandemic has changed, so have we. Um, the uh, uh, we know that we've unfortunately had increased hospitalizations. Fortunately, the, the death rate has gone down dramatically since, the, uh, since we started the vaccine effort, and we're very, very happy about that. We attribute these changes to our vaccination progress. There's a reason we're succeeding on this, is because not only have we acted safely, but we're getting shots into arms. And we're pleased that we made priority decisions on who would receive the vaccinations first in a way that has dramatically driven down the death rate because those who are most vulnerable receive the vaccine first. So we're at the intersection of progress and, and, uh, and failure and we cannot veer from the path of progress. Our economy is starting to show early signs of growth. Uh, we've had great legislative victories on a number of issues and we know vaccines are the ticket to full reopening, and we're very pleased about the success to date in that regard. But we need to continue uh, to those uh, efforts. Uh, there is reason to have hope that if, if we were to uh, continue our progress on vaccinations, that sometime uh, in the summer, uh, we could potentially uh, have much more normal activities in our state. But this is dependent on our continuing to increase the vaccination rates. And as you know, 
We've had some concern about that in the last week or two.